Why are you following me? You're really making me uncomfortable. Would you please stop following me around? Fine! Dan! I'll do your podcast! intro thanks andy for for putting that together (laughs) you're welcome dan oh man so this is another episode of kofo live and undead i'm your host daniel crozier and i am here joined with the wonderfully talented andy godgen how are you andy hey great dan thanks for having me Yeah, um, I mentioned to you earlier that uh, when you uh, emailed over that that clip, I thought, oh wow, what a what a great like found object or uh, found footage, you know, horror thriller teaser. And then when you turned into the camera and and called out my name, I jumped. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, it was it was so much fun. I showed it to to my girlfriend, and she got a, such a great laugh out of it too. It was great. <laughs> well. You had said that I could send a video or send something. Yeah. Um, so um, we're going to talk about some things that I'm working on and right. that I would have sent, but of course they're not ready yet. So I thought, hmm, what? I- I'm going to do something unique. And then uh, when you told me that, I was like, yes, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. So <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. put that together really quick. No, I, I, I greatly appreciate it. It's uh, very much welcomed. Uh, you're, you're the only person that's that's done that so far. Well, well I'm I'm uh, probably the only person that's done your podcast in my pajamas too. Oh, you know, <laughs> well, with this day of uh, Zoom technology, I'm sure a lot of people have done uh, you know done it in, in their pajamas. Well, I mentioned I was getting you know I was going to get ready, and mm-hmm. oh, what should I wear and what. And it's you know nine o'clock here on the east coast and and i get to bed early you know like i get up really early and i need my beauty sleep and uh, i was like i'm i'm gonna put on my pajamas (laughs) (laughs) no it works that's that's awesome uh wait before you go any further i need to there's a disclaimer that I really was not bullied into making the doing this podcast with you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I came up with that all on my own. There was no uh, stalking involved. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, it, it um, you know, it, it kind of led me to things like, wait, wait, what did I say to her to, to make her do that? <laughs> uh, we, we've got to, we already got some people chiming in here, so. Uh, yeah, Larry says, hi, Andy. Hi, Daniel. Oh, hi, Larry. Thanks for joining us. Larry's awesome. He's a, a fantastic uh, actor uh, on the, the West Coast. And then uh, Jim says, this is awesome. Oh, Jim, thank you for joining in tonight. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Andy, uh, you know, the, the first question I ask my guests, uh, it, you know, it's always a loaded question, you know, is... Okay. Who are you? Where do you come from? How did you get into acting? (laughs) Well, I was one of those kids that would be in front of you in the living room, you know, when you came to visit, Mm. dancing and singing and, you know, basically forcing you to watch me do something. And uh, (laughs) so then uh, as I got a little bit older, I got into, I just signed up with an agency in Cincinnati and I did some modeling, some print work. Uh, some commercial work, some runway. And then I 
took the safe route and uh, I started a company and I really didn't have a lot in a family and I really didn't have a lot of time to dedicate to the, uh, to the craft. And so, uh, you know, then later on when I had more time, because it's always been my first passion, I got back into it. So I jumped in. A lot of people asked me for advice, like, how should I get started? And I jumped in. I did a lot of theater. And okay. I took acting workshop uh, classes. I trained with Kirk Baltz. He was in uh, Reservoir Dogs. Nice. Um, and uh, so, you know, he was my coach for a long time. And uh, so I just continued to you know, to practice and to learn and to look for new opportunities. And uh, so I just kind of kept building and building and watching, paying attention. Yeah. Um, I'm a real believer in trying to learn as much as I can about all of the roles on set. Okay. So uh, that way I can put my best foot forward and help everyone do a great job. So, nice. yeah, so just kept building it. And here I am with you. <laughs> well, thank you for spending uh, your, your evening with us. Uh, you know, as, as uh, you know, we, we were kidding around, uh, uh, you know, off camera, you know, I, I think we connected over, you know, just me clacking my, my heels together three times and, and, uh, and you uh, were conjured, right? Yes, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's fantastic. So, um, you mentioned you, you, you started a company. Was it a production company or, you know, how did that work? Well, um, I started a company 16 years ago and I still have it today. It's called cool. Apex 360 and we um, create samples for consumer brands. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, so that's located in Northern Kentucky and there's it's a fantastic nice. group of uh, folks who work there and they're a lot of fun and passionate and super, super proud. Nice. And um, so then I decided to start a production company uh, called AG Pictures. Okay. And it's a collaboration with um, some other great friends and colleagues mm. who, um, who we have joined together. And there is a group of a uh, core group of us mm -hmm. who work together to make movies. So cool. we're fortunate enough as actors and as creatives to now have all of these additional outlets, right, to yeah. get to work out there. You know, back in the day, you needed to, you know, go to L.A. or New York and starve and pray and beg mm -hmm. and, and, you know, hope for an opportunity to get your work out there. Well, yeah. today we're fortunate enough that we have Netflix and Prime and uh, YouTube and mm -hmm. Instagram and, and yeah. all these other great uh, ways to get work distributed. So, yeah, um, I do two things. I uh, sometimes work with my team and we make movies. Cool. And, um, then sometimes I just look for opportunities and you know secure roles on my own for others' productions. So nice, that's yeah. awesome. Uh, we, geez, we got a lot more people chiming in here. <laughs> so Bill says hello, everyone. Hello, hello Bill. Hello, Bill. Bill's oh. actually my my sponsor for the show. He's with oh. uh, Alien what? Donut Films. We love <laughs> Bill. We love Bill. Bill Bill puts up with my shit somehow. <laughs> Bill, Bill. <laughs> Vanessa says, hey. Hey, Vanessa. Vanessa Rose. My daughter's Kylie Rose. Oh, cool. Nice. Company. Yeah. Nice. Uh, new here from Florida, says Sharon. Oh, Sharon, hey. <laughs> the folks up north would like that weather, that Florida weather. <laughs> yeah, 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 most definitely. And then Bill said, well, Bill, Larry's not on the show. Andy and I are. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you not know, there, I promise. yeah, it's not not under the. Uh, no, I don't know. Larry is. might be one of my skins. Who knows? <laughs> so gross. Well, there's a lot of pillows here. He might actually be back here somewhere. If I probably so. Larry, Larry if gets I find it. Him, I'll let you know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, you know, with, with the, the the films that you're working on, I mean, you know, you look at your IMDb, you've got, um, you know, quite a back uh, backlog of, of, you know, from, you know, action, suspense to mm -hmm. drama and uh, and romance and comedy. And, mm -hmm. and then you know, you're working on you're you're working uh, towards a, a new uh, horror horror anthology, right? 
Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a, a little bit about that? Yeah, it's super exciting. Um, there is an anthology that's being put together right now, and cool. it's called the United States of Horror Anthology. And nice. basically, um, there you go. So there's a, a poster of it. God, and, that's cool. Um, basically, there is going to be a short film submitted from all of the United States. And nice. it's going to be put together in an anthology that is going to debut in Manhattan the week before Halloween, COVID wow. um, permitting. Right, and, right. Uh, they'll also, it's also a contest. So there will be someone, um, you Ooh. know, one film will be chosen. And I believe, don't hold me to this because it's not my contest, but right. that um, whoever wins will be uh, granted some money to turn their short into a full uh, feature. So, Ooh, that's yeah. cool. So, um, most teams, from what I understand, are mm -hmm. just submitting, um, you know, from one state. Mm -hmm. So, the rules are that you need to incorporate something about that state into your film. Right. So, it could be a, the state bird, it could be the flag, it could be whatever you want it to be, mm -hmm. as long as it kind of applies to that state. Yeah. So, my team was fortunate enough to secure two states because we're extra oh, awesome. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Darn tootin'. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? So funny. We did a um we did a short called Superhero. Oh, um okay. and uh and it was based in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. And we used Darn Tootin in it so i have to get i have to get that link posted somewhere for that short it's, it's a really really cute short we haven't um distributed it yet but we will soon nice wait so so, so darn tootin was uh, like it you know the war cry you know kind of like like the tick has spoon <laughs> what can only have it's so good oh that's hilarious we <laughs> we said everything darn tootin darn tootin you're right you know we Oh my gosh, we had so much fun with that film. I'll tell you what, my Thanks. my team is phenomenal. Um, we have the best group. Um, a gentleman, he's mm -hmm. amazing talent, um, Jake Reynolds. Um, he is our uh, cinematographer. Um, mm -hmm. I have a, a gentleman who is a great director and actor, Raheem Gross. Um, cool. Vaslav Rice is an amazing writer, and he's going to direct one of these um, films that we that we're working on and nice. um it's just uh, and chris gordy um he's the most recent addition to our team and he is a phenomenal actor fantastic guy and uh he wrote both of these horror um films that we're uh, that we're working on so uh you want Not me to tell you about them Yes. What, yeah, so let me throw up uh because you, you sent me those posters. Yeah. So we've yeah, got so Pick subject one and we'll go with 42, it. 42, right? Yes. So uh, Subject 42, that is the film that is going to uh, represent Indiana. Oh, cool. And, then, and uh, I'll, I'll give you like a vague synopsis because it is a competition, you know. Right. Um, but basically it's a film around a, um, I call it a an experiment. Okay. And, you know, everybody wants, bigger and better and more all of the time, right? Well, um, it's a good lesson in that bigger and better and more can also lead to bad, bad things. And yep. it's a horror film. So, um, you know, and maybe I don't say that very clear. I said horror and people were like, you're doing a, a horror film. I just <laughs> horror. No, no, you call those porn. Like, I'm, I'm like, it, I'm, I'm not quite desperate yet. <laughs> I any horror films. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. I, I think they're misrepresenting the genre. No, it's yeah. it's even if you if even if you say horror, you know, it's uh, yeah. you know, it, it has nothing to you know, it, it it is its own thing. And then porn is something separate. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta be really clear with some of these people because they <laughs> they misconstrue it and it's just like, oh, so you're you know, it's like, no, 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 that's a that you know, th that's an Oliver Stone film. Well, listen, if I ever get super desperate and hungry, yeah. I'll, do the, I'll do the horror anthology of the U.S. And we will get one horror from all of the states. Excellent. 
The United, <laughs> the United <laughs> States of course. Whole new discussion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that that would be pretty uh, pretty hilarious, you know. It's like, oh, you know, United States of brothels. Who knows? You know, that, <laughs> the, the the sky is limitless. <laughs> the scripts write themselves. They write themselves. <laughs> you don't even have to have a word. You don't even have to have a script. No, <laughs> yeah, you just got to no. have stage direction. That's just really all. All just stage notes. That's all you yeah. need. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you uh, just watch Orgasmo from Trey Parker and Matt Stone. And, you know, that's all the information you really need. This was this was going so well, wasn't it? How long are we in? Sixteen minutes in. And <laughs> we got 15, yeah, we're fifteen minutes in. We're doing awesome. It's like <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, derailing is what I do. I Me mean, too. We are <laughs> hey, yeah. If if you've got a wall, I'll crash into it. All right, head on. No brakes. <laughs> this girl has no brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they've, they've gone out a long time ago. They haven't bothered to you know get them uh, changed out. You know, yeah, no, no, no filter, no brakes. Yeah. Keep, keeps it exciting. Yeah, yeah. So, so subject forty two. What, what were we talking about? Oh, subject, subject forty two. So okay. yeah, it, it sounds like it's kind of a, a body horror type film too. Uh, you know, it's um, it has a very small cast. It's just mm -hmm. uh, a husband and wife and a little girl. I'm the wife, and uh, it, the setting is at a uh, farm in Indiana, and uh, it um has a little bit of everything. It has a little bit of you know the little girl needing a friend. Has a little bit of uh, the husband trying to provide for his family. It has the nervous, worried wife that's not really being heard. And then it has this other thing going on, um, this experiment that uh, that ends um, not so well. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. That's so cool. we um, we are uh, really excited about that. It's 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 very well written. Again, Chris cool. Gordy is a phenomenal writer, and um, it uh, flows really well and. Uh, I, I think it's going to turn out really, really good. So that That's is it. our Indiana uh, representation. So subject 42. Oh, cool. And then you've got the, the poster for, for this one, uh, Consecrate. Yeah. So Consecrate, uh, completely different film, completely different state. And we um, went with a bourbon theme for that. Oh, okay. You know, because we were brainstorming, you know, what is Kentucky? Kentucky is... Fantastic bourbon and fast horses. So um, basically, uh, this film is about a, a group of shareholders for the brand, and they have a special ingredient in their bourbon. And so each new batch that comes out every year is a special tasting ceremony. And there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of celebration around it. But there's also a lot of sacrifice around it, so uh, so it's uh, it's a, it, really creepy. Um, I looked at the writer like I love your work, and you're scaring me a little bit that these <laughs> things came from you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's uh, I'm gonna have to social distance myself from you. I, uh, I, I yeah, I I'm not gonna look at you the same. Yet I really really appreciate your talents. Yeah, but I will be you know, always look over your back. Yeah, just, like, who, who are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Really, you know, up to this point, um, I will say this team is uh, is fantastic in the fact that um, once these two are wrapped, they that those literally will be our fifth and sixth film together, and oh, cool. so in in those six films, uh, these are the first two horror films we have done good enunciation <laughs> exactly I, I really have to work at that that's okay um, me too yeah we have jen lefemme's vacation which is on amazon right now cool um and um that is super fun and quirky mm -hmm. and just twists and turns and um we dress one of our uh guys up like in my panties and 
and it, it's it's a lot. It's really funny. So nice. if you have some time and uh, you're looking for something. Um, that Sounds like just, RuPaul's Drag Race. It's 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 a, just a mix. It's it's funny. It's uh it, it's really it's really really good. Nice. Um, that's that's that the Journal of Femmes Vacation, and then we have um, Superhero, which I mentioned to you, right. and that's also a comedy. Uh, we and and that and that is again super funny and uh, very lighthearted. And then we did Are You Okay, which is a coming of age, and mm -hmm. it focuses on uh, the relationship between three kids and what they are dealing with at home um, during the pandemic. Mm. And uh, yeah. it basically sheds light on the fact that, you know, we as adults are like, oh, you know, this is new. And we're so wrapped up sometimes in our own worlds that right. we forget to look around at how maybe it's affecting the kiddos. Right. So it, it's um, a unique perspective on um, their struggles. And you get to see their three unique households um, kind of and how their relationships help each other out and you get to see their households in some instances through their zoom okay. so background shots things like that so yeah. uh and and it has a twist i love a twist i really really a twist. Do. i love a twist at the end of films i just i love that mm -hmm. so um it has a twist cool um so that's are you okay uh what am i missing i'm missing one. Oh, nevis um nevis, right. um nevis is a drama it's with a a twist. um it open it again this one's on prime mm -hmm. uh you have time and it is um i in the the very first shot is me naked on a concrete floor bleeding so in black right. and white so right. it's, it's of interest to anyone out there uh, <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I, love, Andy, I, I did catch that. Actually, seven spelled backwards. Ah, um, so okay. kind of knowing that in the beginning, mm -hmm. I think, kind of helps wrap your head around how the how the um, film unfolds. Yeah, I I did uh, you know catch it on uh, Amazon Prime well, when you and I uh, originally started uh, talking. Uh, oh yeah, you know, weeks ago, and uh, I, I thought it was really interesting. Of course, yeah, I love things in, in black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just because of that, you know, nostalgia and mm. it becomes very, you know, has that kind of a stoic and regal feel to it. But it, it, it seems very, uh, you know, um, kind of introspective mm. and, uh, you know, having this public defender, you know, going through, uh, you know, an inner dialogue. It, it seems like you're kind of battling demons yeah. you know, while, while trying to work through this day in the court system. Yeah. Yeah. It really, it really, exactly. Um, you, you nailed it, you know, cause one of our concerns was this is really deep, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's, it's, it's definitely not a film that you want to take your time. If you just want kind of something quick and easy and mindless to be, you know, cause right. we all need that and want that sometimes like I just want to sit down and just watch something and not think about it. Um, so this film is one that you watch it and you go, mm -hmm. what? And then right. you watch it again and then you watch it again and then you're like, oh my gosh, it's just really, really deep in a lot of ways. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, then of course, you know, uh, then you, toward the end, you realize what's going on. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, that was, that was really wild, um, awesome, fun film to make. So cool. our little production team has basically, you know, created two comedies, a coming of age, a drama and now two horrors. Yep. Uh, so we're very diverse and I'm super proud of that. That's so, awesome. You, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you fit in a lot of different pegs. So that's, that's good to be that, that versatile, I think, mm -hmm. you know, be able to draw on, on all these different, uh, you know, perspectives and, and, and as well as genres. Yeah. I mean, uh, God, we, we keep getting <laughs> so many calls. Uh, Bill says, you guys look fabulous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> It's it's my fuzzy socks. It's the so the socks do it, you know. It's yeah, definitely not me. I'm totally these so this is for you. Oh, they're tall too. <laughs> Custer <laughs> says, "Hey, Andy." Yeah. 
Hi, Custer. How are you? Yay. Oh, Great Tom actor. is a phenomenal actor. He is. I met this gentleman mm -hmm. on the set of Donnie Brook. It has Frank Grillo and Jamie Bell in it. Oh, cool. He filmed all night long in a field. I literally had on hook. I was a hooker. <laughs> on hooker boots. There's a shot of it um, on my Instagram page. Okay. Um, it's like three years ago worth. Mm -hmm. um, hooker boots, um, crop top, 30 degree weather in a muddy field all night long. Yeah. Literally the kindest, sweetest people. People were dropping heaters down my boots, the little like hand warmers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got the, like, the oh, that came in uh, really good this weekend, actually. I mean, everyone was so kind to me on that set, and uh, we were like in it together. <laughs> So, oh, cool. uh, yeah, and, and Custer's phenomenal. He, um, I did a scene for Bad Boys 3, um, oh, just cool. a promo um, scene, mm -hmm. but Custer actually filmed uh, on set. So uh, he, he's, he's an awesome guy and always been such a, such a nice cheerleader. See, he's <laughs> great. That, that he is. That's cool. Uh, uh, Bill chimed in again. Yeah. <laughs> Some little star emojis and uh, loves the title for United States of Horror. So, so we're definitely looking forward to to that and can't wait to to see that. That sounds like a, a massive undertaking. And uh, with uh, with the named Simon uh, hmm. Phillips, he's the one that's actually putting this together. So cool. I'm just submitting two films. Um, nice. So he deserves the the kudos for that. It it should be really cool. Nice. Is is there like a, a central you know, website or someplace to, to go for more information on that? Uh, there's a Facebook page. So you oh. can, I can follow the Facebook page and I'm sure that uh, lots of updates will be coming. Um, he has almost, I believe, all except for like maybe um, 12 or so films um, submitted already. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and ours are coming. We had to delay a little bit because of COVID. Right, right. Um, timing was bad for the uh, states of Ohio and Indiana, or sorry, for, well, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, because it's the tri-state right there. Mm -hmm. So um, ours got delayed a little bit, but uh, yeah, cool. it's going to be good. Well, I, I can't wait to, you know, see any, you know, glimpses of, of uh, you know, your contributions, uh, you know, stills, and, uh, you know, of course, a, a teaser trailer. Hopefully nothing shot on your phone, because <laughs> yeah, right. you know that's just gonna that's just gonna you know I, I'm just gonna be like okay is she gonna give another shout out to me or oh well, <laughs> you never know hey watch this girl you don't yeah. know it, <laughs> it come at any minute like oh <laughs> uh, hey, Andy uh, you, you're also working on a, a positivity uh, campaign I've been you know following you on on Instagram and you've been you know posting videos on on just a number of uh, t different topics. Can you uh, talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I just started uh, thinking about how much negativity and um, is out there right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that started, of course, during, you know, when COVID and the pandemic picked up. And yeah. I, I sincerely think that a lot of that is fear-based. Um, and so I looked at my... Uh, following count one day and I thought mm -hmm. you know I'm not one of these people that gets on my oh how many followers do I have today or you know I, right. I'd like to think of myself as probably one of the most genuine people on Instagram or mm -hmm. you know out there and in, in, in general and so I started thinking you know I could use that platform to do something right. with it right and, so I started out just with the very basic introduction, like this is who I am and this is what I'm going to do. And I'm like, you know, this is my, these are my pages, my face. I have two Facebook pages. I have a regular Andy Gudgeon and then I have an Andy Gudgeon actor model. Right. And then I have the Instagram page and um, which is scrolling at the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I'm going to use those pages and my voices to try to do some good out there. So I started with the intro just to say, this is who I am um, yeah. and, and I am reaching out to you. Uh, you know, I'm not making money off of this. I'm not trying to, you know, I have no agenda, but 
I've lived some life. I haven't had everything handed to me. I worked really hard and I moved out when I was really young. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, I, I'm an entrepreneur. I have a business degree. I published a book and I am doing Ooh. the acting and modeling. And, you know, I'm willing to help someone in ways that I didn't have or that I wish that I would have had when I grew up. Yeah. So I started a series and each one it's each post is less than two minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's just each, each one has a unique um, spin, you know, maybe something to think about. Um, one is the more you give, the more you get, because I think that if you never give, then mm -hmm. you just are not going to feel gratitude and fulfillment inside. Yeah. Um, one is uh, having a word of the year, um, mm. which, uh, you know, it, a lot of people set goals for the year, like I'm going to lose weight or I'm going to change jobs or I'm going to, you know, whatever their resolutions are. Right. Well, uh, I decided to have a word of the year. So my word is delight. So okay. I'm finding delight in every experience. It could be waiting around and looking down and seeing a, you know, a, a leaf or an ant. It could be something extremely small. It could be something really big. Mm -hmm. Um, so finding delight in things and then also trying to spread delight. So if I meet someone at the grocery or have an interaction with someone, I want to walk away and have that person say, wow, that person, you know, Andy Gudgeon, she made my life better today in some way. So, um, so there's just lots of different ones. Uh, a couple days ago, I did one on, uh, love, like loving yourself. Yeah. Self -love. Love yourself. Yeah. I don't feel like you can truly love anyone else. Um, right. So yeah, so just little tips. I read a lot. I study a lot. I journal. Mm -hmm. I try to you know try to meditate. I try to take care of myself and surround myself um, with good um, with good people and yeah. you know quality. And uh, and I, I'm working out. Oh, did I show you my? Did I show you my gun? Oh, is this the is this the gun show? Gun show, yeah. Nice. Take a good Excellent. look at it because tomorrow could be all downhill. <laughs> That's okay. I won't show you mine because it is downhill for me. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I was no, trying. They look they look great. You 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 you, you, you look like you're, you're you're staying fit. You're staying healthy. Positive, you know, uh, mental, uh, you know, uh, well, PMA, positive mental attitude. So I like it. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, that's from the the old punk rock uh, ethos, specifically from I think the the Washington D.C. area with with all the bad brains and Fugazi guys and you know. So I, I'm I'm an old punk rock kid. Um, I love it. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah, I, I'm trying, you know. Yeah. Somebody somebody um the other day was like, "Gosh, you're working out so hard. You know, who are you mad at?" <sighs> <laughs> Well, that's that's actually not a bad goal, you know. You you yeah. you, you, you focus on on that uh, you know that adversary, whether yeah. it's a literal person or something you know, fictitious. You you know what mine was? I said that's my it. own self doubt. That's a good one. Mine is my shoelaces. <laughs> I still haven't learned how to tie them correctly. <laughs> Bill can attest to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Bill. Yeah. Bill oh, showed off his guns. Go. Oh, uh, he says yours are nicer. Well, well, they're little, but I'm working on it. I feel uh, strong, like I. You, yeah. you are strong, like a bull. strong, like a bull. There you go. Yes, <laughs> yeah, most definitely. The yeah. uh, well, the, the nice thing too about your videos. So, so I, yeah, I earlier today, you know, to uh, make sure I was, yeah, at least, yeah, semi-conscious for for this uh, for this uh, conversation was you know I, I looked up um, your, your last post on that and you know talking about self love it's it's a good conversation too to mm -hmm. start uh, I, I think I think that's what a lot of your videos are or, or at least those conversation starters like how can I you know apply this to you know my situation in life mm -hmm. and exactly mm -hmm. like like you said like with with uh, you know the fear of uh, living through a pandemic and and all the you know turbulent uh, you know, political atmosphere and stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. Depression is such a big thing and right. learning how to cope with that in a healthy manner, you know, talking about that and, right. and, you know, redirecting your, um, 
your energies, you know, to something maybe more productive, productive for you, hopefully productive for others too. I think that's mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. And, but it, it starts with, you know, starting that conversation. Yeah. Well, and you know, I thought, I say multiple times on these videos, mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. I'm yeah. not a person who's standing here going, look at me, look at all the things that I've done and accomplished. No, I'm not. I mess up all the time. But guess yeah. what? I get back up and I try to figure it out. Yeah. And if I figure something out and I think that I can throw it out there and share it and someone else might be helped. I mean, I do get, you know, I tell the people that follow me, I don't mm -hmm. love that. Follow me. That's just right. oh, it's like your intro video. Interact like, with me. Oh, you're following me. Yeah. But I call them leaders because I'm like, you know, if someone is going to look at my page. Mm -hmm. and say, hmm, what's this girl about? And click on it and say, I'd like to hear more from her. I consider that a leader because that's someone who wants to listen and learn and have that discussion and mm -hmm. maybe self-reflect a little bit. And then as they grow, like just like as I grow, mm -hmm. then they affect people around them, right? Right. So to me, that's a leader. So I'm like, let's just be in this together. I'm like, mm -hmm. DM me. You know, if you have a question... I'm, yeah. I do my best. I answer them all myself. I, yeah. you know, I, I do my best to get back to people. Um, so, you know, I'm just here to help and, nice. uh, you know, and see what comes of it. And, you know, I ask people, post things, comment, what's your word of the year? Maybe that word resonates with me and I'll start using it some way. Like one, one time um, it was quotes. What's your favorite quote? I love nice. quotes. I have a whole Excel spreadsheet that I keep on quotes. Oh, cool. Um, you know, because so many people are smarter than me. <laughs> like, I'll use it. Just tell me your favorite quote, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. That's that. That's cool. It, it's yeah. Uh, I I think uh, that's that's all we can do is uh, you know help each other out in this weird you know strange you know thing we call life. Um, yeah. I, I, th I think I'm, I'm best suited for just pointing when things fart. Yeah, that's about all I'm good for. <laughs> so, yeah, Andy, uh, you, you, you being in, in film and, and everything, you know, I'd imagine, you know, you know growing up with, uh, with you, know, you know, wanting to perform and everything, like, you know, as a kid, do you recall, like, you know, what some of your favorite films and, and even horror movies, if you were allowed to oh, watch? Oh gosh, no! I oh, horror <laughs> movies. I told you, like, I have yeah. been, you know, I have been on my own for a long time. I started working when I was way too young, mm -hmm. and um, I I was a hustler. Like, mm -hmm. I would try to make a dollar any way that I could. So I babysat a lot. Okay. So growing up, I did not watch scary movies because I spent way too much time alone at night with young children. Oh, true. I <laughs> get I was that. probably only like I think I started babysitting when I was 10. Oh geez. Little babies? I didn't yeah. know I was when these people left their babies with me. I did a good job. Right. But uh, yeah, so I did not watch scary movies growing up. Um, the first scary movie that I remember watching. It still was scared the crap out of me to this day. It was Dawn of the Dead. Oh, cool. Nice. One where they were like going through the mall and stuff. Yeah, with George and Romero. Yeah. I was, it, I was at a birthday party and it was like, I, th I think it was like the first boy girl party that I ever went to that I actually, you know, stayed up probably all night. So mm -hmm. I was, you know, turning into a big shot and they yeah. had that movie on. And they played it over and over and over. And to this day, <laughs> I I never want to see that movie again. Wow! I'm so scared. Yeah. So even even uh, uh, in that in that crowd at at a at a, at a party, um, mm -hmm. you know, it 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 had that lasting impression. Oh, still to this day, I just oh, nice. yeah, yeah. I I was brave though, like you know, because I was trying to be cool, like you know. But got yeah. scared to death. <laughs> now yeah, no, all the I, zombie stuff is so popular again. Right. Like, that damn movie is going to resurface in front of me one of these days. I just know it. 
<laughs> well, in, in you know, to that you know, uh, to that cause too. It's it's been remade as well. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I saw the. Uh, I don't know if it was like an ad for it or something, and I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the the Zack Snyder remake. I think it. When did that come out? I can't remember. It was two. Yeah, maybe two thousand four. I think. Yeah. So. Yeah. I will, I will say now that making movies, like for as much as I um, am a scaredy cat, you know, like yeah. I watch like this. You know, <laughs> with um, with the eyes, like yeah. know, like oh, or like tell me when it's over. Um, <laughs> for as for as much of a scaredy cat. I have made so many horror movies, like right. it's not not like by you know my production company group, mm -hmm. but you know being cast. Yeah, um, one of my uh, one of my I was a zombie. I posted that. I had a Facebook memory pop up. Oh, cool. Um, you know, I was a zombie. I'm like, what? Well, isn't this ironic, right? Like Dawn of the yeah. Dead. I'm scared to death, and here I am, a zombie. Actually, that is a funny story. The place that we shot was a stinky, you know, like a really old, old warehouse that's mm -hmm. super stinky. Yeah. And it had no see. facilities. And I, we were there, of course, all day. And yeah. I really had to use the restroom. So I mm -hmm. went to this gas station. And yeah. I, walk, I walked in. Um, I was with the producer who had a really nice car and who had a suit on, but I just ran in by myself. Right. I said, hey, I, I just really need to use a restroom. And the guy behind the counter <laughs> told me they were broken. And I'm <laughs> like thinking, well, it looks fine to me. And yeah. I didn't think about it. And then, because there was no mirrors there either. So I didn't really know what I looked like. <laughs> um, so the, uh, and I mean, the, the art, the art, it was all spray art, yeah. like, you know, um, makeup. It was really mm -hmm. well done. Nice. And, uh, so I, I walked in and and then actually behind me, the producer walked in mm -hmm. was like with me and then he, they let me in and I could use the restroom. So uh, oh, I, had man. Drive, I had to drive home like that, like an hour and a half and yeah. hope that uh, I didn't get pulled over or anything. Cause you know, <laughs> I didn't explain that. So that's, that's awesome. Do you, uh, you, you, what, what, what film was that for? Um, it was for one that never came out. Um, oh, shoot. It was, it was one that was being shot as a pilot and they were going to try to get some uh, oh, okay. funding for a feature. And mm -hmm. uh, it never, it never, and that happens a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of films that I've worked really hard on and either like a scene gets cut or mm -hmm. you just it's never made. Um, there's one that's uh, in post-production still. I get hit by a Mack truck. Um, mm -hmm. I actually almost got run over by that Mack truck that day. <laughs> Oh okay. crap! Yeah. Um. So, uh, you know, there sometimes, you know. Oh, we're glad that you're still here with us and intact. Yeah, I know. I'm like, really, I'm really gonna get hit by this truck today. <laughs> yeah, uh, man. So, but that one's in in post production. You know, uh, is is there a title for that one? It's called All Who Follow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So that one's that one's out there. It'll come out eventually. Nice. Um, so yeah. yeah, I've been in a lot of. Uh, I, I get killed a lot. Um, <laughs> so. Is uh yeah, that, that's probably yeah yeah your your little add on uh to to your resume uh you know we'll we'll do death scenes. We'll, you know. we'll be murdered. Well, yeah. there was there was one uh there was one post that said um today. We run Andy over with the Mack truck. And I was like, only in filmmaking is that appropriate. Like, right. right. Oh. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. And then um, one of my kiddos was like, Mom, are you getting hit by that truck today? I'm like, yeah, today's the day. I yeah. <laughs> Such interesting, you know, lines that kids say the darndest things, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> really, like, I have such a fun house and my kids are so much fun. We are like a little gang. So we are always, we film stuff um, together. Oh, that's um, fun. My daughters have been in some of my films. Um, my, my youngest daughter, she um, actually, there's um, a movie called gifts 
Okay. Um, uh, and uh, it's on YouTube, I think, right now. If you just oh. Google GIFs, Gudgeon, I'm sure it will mm -hmm. probably come up. Um, right. And, uh, and the, the two of us shared a lead. Um, so that was really fun. Uh, we filmed a lot of late nights in a soybean field, um, which is a really cool experience. I've never been in a soybean field before, but there it's, it's really neat. Yeah. yeah, what's it like? Um, it's like, you know, like when you see a shot and it's a big field mm -hmm. and someone can go bloop and they're gone. Oh, right, 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 and right, right. Go, bloop, and there they and are. Creepy That's head crazy. that pops up in the yeah. distance. You can literally do that. Just yeah. like your eye out. <laughs> oh, that's 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 awesome. So it sounds like that yeah, you really, you know, you make it a family affair, you know, uh, working uh you know, obviously with your kids, but but also with your your uh cohorts uh you know with your uh, production company. Mm -hmm. We really, really do. And that is the secret to the sauce, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, we do this because we love it. Right. We spend a lot of time with each other. Sometimes we're up all night. Yeah. Um, we collaborate. Sometimes we have differences of opinion, but that's cool and good because, you know, let's hash it out. Let's bring all the angles of possibilities together. Um, we really support each other and have each other's backs. There's not like ego trips or anything like that. It's, uh, it's fun and healthy. And, you know, I'm all about the positivity, you know, right, right. If there's drama. I'm three miles down the street. I'm not having it. <laughs> so for me, it's all about surrounding myself with really fun, awesome people and, um, you know, contributing to their well-being and happiness. Right. As well, so. Right. But yeah, you, you've got to, yeah, if, if you're going to do it for the, the fun of it, it better be a fun, you know, project, right? Yeah. yeah. If it's fun and the people are, you know, not fantastic. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, you, you, you have a little bit of tolerance, but at the same time too, it sounds like you yourself, you know, wear a lot of hats. Cause I'd imagine, you know, you you also serve as a you know producer, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So producer and, you know, I, I do a little bit of everything to be honest with you. So, yeah. um, it I, is a, it is a collaboration for sure. Yeah, I I'd imagine like in those situations, your 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 producer, your den mother, your psychologist, you know, your 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 drill and stuck instructor, yeah. you know, because you got to maintain a schedule too, you know. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you you know need to uh, you know, give some warm hugs, and right. sometimes you need to be like, come on, let's roll, you know. Right. So yeah, yeah. but. You Hurry know. up, they sick the dogs on you. <laughs> Again, it's not just me, though. It's the whole team is what makes it fantastic. Right. So everyone is professional and awesome and steps up and does their part. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a great collaboration. So That's fantastic. Uh, you know, yeah. Andy, uh, where can uh, people, you know, follow you? Yeah, not only you, but, but your, uh, you know, production team and, and the, the projects that you're working on. Well, so right now, um, as far as the, the projects that we produce, we try to create a Facebook page for each film. So all of the films are um, have their own Facebook pages. And okay. um, and they are – so what I do is mm -hmm. on my Instagram page, yeah. I kind of have a formula for it, right? Mm -hmm. So when I'm either working on something or something gets released, mm -hmm. I'll post it on my page. So right. not only does it make it – you know, um, that I can share it with everyone, but it also gives me a historical timeline <laughs> so I can oh. keep track of what I've done. So, um, you can go there. So the, my Instagram is at the bottom of the, um, screen here scrolling. Mm -hmm. And that's also where I post all the positivity videos. And those are typically salt and peppered with some kind of a still from whatever's going on. Um, and then uh, I also have an IMDb page, so you can just Google me basically on IMDb. Cool. And, um, you know, again, I have the Facebook. I'm going to uh, create a YouTube uh, channel. Okay. That I'm going to have all of the positivity videos and some ancillary um, content there that I'm working on. But um, 
yeah, those are the those are the best places, and uh, and uh, you can look at the movies there, and then look up the Facebook pages. Excellent, excellent. So it sounds like uh, you know, uh, for starters, Instagram is is probably the central uh, source to go, and then you know, uh, IMDb, you know, Facebook uh, mm -hmm. to to find uh, you know everything else. So that's great. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty much everywhere, and also AndyGudgeon.com. I know you're everywhere just because of that video that you sent me. Good God. <laughs> maybe you're everywhere. Maybe, maybe I am. Candyman. Oh, Candyman. Candyman. I, I seriously. Where's my Jolly Ranchers? <laughs> so I, I really, you know, am thankfully, you know, met you and getting to know you and, and uh, I'm so sorry for I, you. I said, Hey, I'm a risk taker. You know, I'm like, I'll just put it out there. I'll film a video, a positivity video, and put it out there. People are going to be like, I hate you. You suck. Go away. Okay. That's fine. Don't watch it. I don't care. Like, I literally, I'm just putting well, it out there for you. You know, I do yeah. care. But, you know, if, it, if it's not your thing and it's not helpful, then don't watch it. I'm, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, and I mean, like, I'm doing your podcast in my pajamas. Like, oh, well. And, uh. So I thought, you know, I'm going to film this little intro for him and send it to him. I don't know you. I was like, <laughs> you're going to be like. This it was a pleasant surprise. Super yeah. cool, and I love it. Or she's a lunatic. But. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> thought, oh, wow. I just send it. And then when I got your text, it just made me laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it was, it was yeah, like I said, it was, it was hilarious. And it's just like, Andy, we got to lead with this tonight. This is the top story. <laughs> So, so that was absolutely brilliant. I, I really appreciate you, you know, doing that. And, 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 uh, you know, as, as we're winding down, I really appreciate you coming on the show and, you know, sharing your craft and, you know, all the, all the fun things that, uh, you know, that you're, you're doing and, and, uh, yeah, we, we can't wait to, to follow you and, um, you know, yeah, you know, check out, uh, the United States of horrors. Yeah. You know, you know, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think those are. I think what a fun concept, and uh, you know, in anthology films are such a yeah a huge thing right now too. Yeah, I'm excited about it. You know, again, it's the first you know type of uh, this genre that we have attempted. I'm super happy with the scripts. Yeah, I'm super happy with the cast. We um, spent about four and a half hours the other night doing a, a read through through Zoom. Um, yeah which uh, is great. And uh, yeah, so I, I'm really excited. I think that these are, are really awesome films. And, uh, and nice. we're going to start submitting um, to film festivals. Good. So we just submitted Nevis and I believe nice. one or two other to a film festival in London. Excellent. And, London's uh, great. Yeah, it's, it's there uh, in, in right now for consideration. Excellent. And uh, so we're just going to keep uh, creating and, putting some good content out there and and then I'm just gonna personally you know keep looking for some fantastic roles and cool good growing and being positive and rocking this little happy life out excellent excellent that's awesome and uh just before we 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 got uh, a bunch of people that uh keep chiming in good old bill he's he's very dependable <laughs> we, we like bill uh, and then, you know, Gary, uh, Larry was uh, saying, yeah, Art Lingler uh, had a show. Called... I remember that show. Yeah. 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 Well, we get, maybe Andy says the darndest things, like, um, that could be a spinoff. I really, I really do. Sometimes I'm like, oh, my gosh, did I just say that? <laughs> or or did that come out of your kids' mouth? Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. Billy, get the soap. I don't know your your kids' names. <laughs> yeah, they watch me half the time. They're like, oh, um, really? I'm like, oh, I'm old now, and I don't care. I'm like, yeah. so that is the difference. I said, someday you'll earn this, these mm -hmm. stripes, where you can just, like, not care as much. We were actually, we were um, at Disney over the weekend. Right. And uh, my middle child, she wanted some wanted socks and she's like oh you know i forgot to put on socks she had a like kind of converse she's, okay i'm like well you know i'm hot i'll give you mine so i sat down at universal and took my shoes off and took my socks the kids were dying they're like they're like they're oh. horrified 
and we're like on our way to Harry Potter and the, you know, and I go, I I don't care. Like, yeah. You you want my socks? I you want <laughs> socks. So I literally <laughs> took them off and handed them to her. And she's like stuffed them in her bag. And and I I'm like, put the socks on. And she's like, I'm not putting these socks on. Like someday you will. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Par parents are always, you know, they're they're good to, to embarrass the kids. It's it's great fun, really. Yeah. I'm like, I, I you can't hurt it at this point. I'm like, right. <laughs> right. Uh, Sue just chimed in, you know. Oh, hi, Sue. Yeah, she's so sweet and supportive and like, oh, so awesome. I appreciate you so much, Sue. I just, I just love people who are fantastic. Like, hi. Hey. <laughs> hi. Says hello. So sweet. Aw. Um, I, <laughs> I go with both. I, I'm not sure what he was referring to. I think I jumped on that, that comment a little late. Oh my gosh, it could be anything really. Right, true. Oh. true. I like him though. Oh, you're just you're not fun. You're just fun. <laughs> Thank you. See, I like him a lot. Yeah. Everyone, everyone loves Steve. He's he's a good guy. <laughs> nice. That's cool. It, yeah, the, yeah. The nice thing too about uh, you know horror films is that its audience super passionate and super supportive too. So passionate, so supportive. I love that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I can't wait for you to have an event. <laughs> right. There. And I, I, was I told you now. I'm, listen, I'm a girl yeah. on my word. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. So, cool. if you have an event, okay. I'm going to make it out there. All right, we'll be in. We'll be in contact. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this year, if we're able to do something, even if it's something small. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, depending on, on how uh, things are set up here, I mean, there is talk that we might just, you know, kind of scale things down a little bit, you know, to uh -huh. make it safe, maybe do an outdoor thing. I mean, mm -hmm. in, in September, it's practically summer here. There you um, go. And, but, you know, uh, then maybe 2022, uh, we, we go full bang. Who knows? Mm -hmm. We'll see. There you go. Well, you know, I'm on a day-to-day decision-making basis at this right. point. So yeah. I think most of us are, and we just all me, do the best we can. Yeah, me me too. It's it's like, uh, all right, you know, uh, do I have, uh, you know, the raisin bran, or do I fight that squirrel for that last acorn? Uh, <laughs> decisions. Uh, Andy, thanks so much for, for coming out and, and uh, hopping on here with us. And okay. it, in your pajamas, uh, I, I can't. Sorry, I'm everybody. I... Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks so much for, for sharing you know, everything that you do. I uh, you know, can't wait to, to see all the, the, you know, the upcoming stuff. Um, but uh, go ahead, stick around for a few minutes uh, you know, after the show. And uh, to everybody that, that tuned in, you know, thanks so much, guys. Uh, to uh, our, our sponsors, uh, Alien Donut Films, films uh, Bill and Angela, thanks you guys for your support. Uh, thanks to uh, you know Hellfire Radio for uh, you know uh, also uh, putting us on, on your platforms. And then uh, yeah, thanks to uh, my producers, Stefan Santa Cruz and Amanda Armstrong. Uh, you know, greatly appreciate your support. And then uh, yeah, guys, everybody out there, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're well, you know, stay safe, help each other out during these tough times. We love you. Goodbye. Have a good Bye. night.